It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my series. I'm playing as the Mamluks in Cradle of Civilization, which is the latest DLC for Europa Universalis 4. Did I say that right? You know, sometimes when I'm on autopilot and playing the game and talking at the same time, I do think I talk some rubbish. Dave, you talk rubbish all the time. We're really pumping a lot of money into that one per state, aren't we? Development plus 300%. <laughs> okay. Whoa, where are you going, dude? Get here, my dude. Yet again, France is nowhere to be seen. My, I, I'm only concluding here, guys. It looks like the AI is messing up, but my, my opinion right now is that France isn't willing to confront me. And the reason why is they don't think they can beat me in a battle. So they're keeping their armies really far away. Maybe even in the, in territory that's not even their own. I don't know what's going on. I'm not complaining. We might be at the force limit now. Problem is we're gonna need a Ooh, four siege, nice. Okay. Um Gujarat Cassus Belly. Where is Gujarat? Oh it's here. It's kinda of divided. Imports compete with the Mamlukian quality goods. Lose mercantilism? Yeah, more mercantilism. Honorable people gain max prestige. All right, good. We're going to go here. We're going to first take Malta. So make three trips. Influenza. Are you occupied yet? You are. Can they just... No. Uh, objections of British are needed. Citizens in Austria's exchange for subsidies has expired. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Wait, hang on. Did I already cancel that? Admirals died. Uh, okay, what we got here? Man, this guy's got a really weird looking face. Uh, unrest reduction. We don't get them. Uh, okay, so what do they have to be? Uh, I can't do this anymore because the discount is only if. The discount is only if they're. What was the culture again of my, my ruler? Congonese. <laughs> Alright, I don't want this to sound a little bit prejudiced, but aren't Congonese black dudes? <laughs> Why is that even relevant, Dave? Confirmed. Dave racist. <laughs> Confirmed. Wow. Why are we not engaging? I'm actually a little bit disappointed that I'm not actually fighting them. What's going on? Look, even my vassals are sieging them down. Afghanistan has invaded France. Okay, so there's an opportunity to grab Sicily. Actually, let's just double check my requirements because I don't want to make a mistake and pick the wrong ones because that is going to be embarrassing. So Unify Islam needs, that's the one in Afghanistan. The next one is the one in Spain. Constant. Oh, that's Constantinople, okay. Baghdad, blah, 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 blah. Messina 
Yes. Palramo, yes. Samakara, that's the one, yep. And then finally, that's it. Holy damn. So we just need to, we need to take all of Sicily to secure it. And yet again, I'm asking the question, where is the French army? Where is it? Aragon will seed lands. Not enough land though, dude. I think I'm going to cancel that missionary. That guy isn't progressing as quick as I would like. Let's go for the easy ones first. Is this behind? Oh no, it's not. Trade range, settler range. So, I'm pretty confident these wars in the east are going to be quite easy. The only issue we've got here is attrition because there's a lot of mountains in Persia. Uh, this one is one we want, and also the capital here. Now, getting this one's going to be a nightmare. We might have to do a broken truce war to push into here. I think that might be a possibility because we're going to have to push all the way here, and it's going to be such a snake. But next, anyway, anyway, so when we put, finish in the east, which I'm confident this is done now, we'll focus on the Ottomans and get Constantinople, and then eastward, and then we have unified Islam. I have never unified Islam, by the way. Never done it. This would be the first time. It would be the first. Want pirates? No. Uh, Mediterranean, there we go. Oh, we have a we have a French army. What the hell? They have an army? Okay, they actually put a bit of a fight too, which is nice to see as well. Wasn't a cakewalk. Conquer. Why am I looking at these missions? The missions late game become so useless. I've, I've already said this a thousand times. Like the late game missions don't give you that much reward in in retrospect to the overall size of your nation. So it feels like they don't actually benefit you. It's kind of nice to do them because it gives you some direction of where you're going, but otherwise I just don't really think that that's good. Um, oh, Conqueror! Years of Separatism! That's really good! Okay, France has suddenly all of a sudden arrived. Are we going to take money from them again? <laughs> I'm really surprised that... Oh, well, I was about to say I was surprised that wasn't a wipe, and it is a wipe. It just doesn't look like they've got a big standing army, and I can't quite understand why. Unless it's based abroad. Yeah, unless they've got a large army that's based abroad. We have no rebels. I can't even believe it. Look at the size of our empire. Look how much we're conquering. We have no rebels. I can't even believe it. Yeah, and... Yeah, that's what happens when you stack years of separatism over and over and over again. It feels like you just have no rebels. and It becomes an absolute... It becomes a pleasure to play the game, put it that way. I'm uh, going to go here. That's good. I'm going to take Paris. Sure, why not? Here we go, boys. Yeah, they don't have any army. I don't know where it's gone. Maybe it's stuck somewhere. Maybe the AI's messed up. I always like to get the morale guy or the discipline guy. I think those two guys are so strong. There we go. I think we're going to bombard you too. One more level. Yep. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and... Oh. What? No! He died! That is the youngest I've had a guy die, and he's actually pretty good. Ah, oh, what a shame. He's going to be Swahili. I always used to make a joke about whenever I never understood what someone was saying and what language they were speaking. I used to say they were speaking Swahili. <laughs> it used to be an ongoing joke. It wasn't even funny, but there you go. Bit like all your other jokes, Dave. Oh, got him. Uncorruptible. 
Ah, oh, come on, let me let me have Paris. Let me have Paris. Nationalism! Ah! And imperialism. So the benefit of nationalism is you get less aggressive expansion, don't you? Ah. Show Elon. 10 years worth of 50% morale. That is insane. Ah! Oh. No! Give me Paris! I want to take Paris before they can see any of this back. Oh, Aragonese separatists have just taken Ve Valencia. I think what we'll do is we'll get you to peace out. It's really annoying that this window blocks out the tick, so I can't see when the tick changes. There you go, boom. Give me your money that I don't actually need. Oh, no, they haven't. No, that's not good. <laughs> Did you see the Aragonese army that they were about to go back home and then they were like, uh, nope. <laughs> That's right, you go back where you belong, my dude. Go back where you belong? God, Dave, what's with the racialness today? What? Go back where you belong. The racial undertones are on, on a new level. Okay. Alright, can we... So let's just say what we want. That, yes. Yes, yes. And I think we're not going to bother grabbing that. I know that probably seems a bit silly. I think that looks good to me. Yep, I'm happy with that. Ooh, that costs a lot of diplomatic points. Good. Done, 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 done. Oh, that felt good. All right. I can confirm the East is now secure. We're going to leave behind one big stack. Four, five, five, six. Okay. You're going to come here. And you're going to come here too. You are going to be the army that stays behind. Uh, what? Why does it keep saying call for peace? The war's over. Mamluks are coalition again. What? Oh, this is a European coalition. I never actually looked at my coalition status. Let's have a look. Uh, coalition. Yep. I have pissed a lot of people off. Uh, whoa, I pissed a lot of Europeans off as well. This is going to be a big coalition. Wow, this is going to be a big one. This is actually one that could break me. So Tuscany are so annoyed. Castile are so annoyed. But then again, everyone else is over 100 as well. So at this point, I need to get some allies desperately. We have Poland and Lithuania. Alsace currently occupies most of Lithuania. Why? Uh, this is going to be a really bad coalition. I don't like playing the game where I'm waiting for coalitions to end. This, let's be fair, it was a horrendously greedy light. Let's be totally real. Uh, yeah, this is really, really greedy. Um, I think if the rebels appear here, I'm going to just mush them and smush them down. Uh, can't build. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Go here. You guys go. Then go. I have to wait for you guys to be idle. Go. Brilliant. Moroccans are going to attack someone, are they? Are they now? So the only thing that could prevent them from attacking me is just thinking that they just can't win this war. We are doing really well on tech. How well are we doing willpower-wise? You know what? Ming is actually catching up to us. We used to be twice as much developing them and they don't have as much now. So that'd be 2,000, 3,000. Yeah, so they actually are catching up on our heels. Yet again, I think all their tributaries tributary is class as. Yeah, don't their tributaries class as half. So half of the development of the tributaries, or of them, class as the overall de uh, development for the entire nation. So technically, they're not as unified as I am. Does that make sense? I'm building a fort there because I just can't stand troops coming through there. 
Legalism. And Tunisia has joined the coalition. What a nice guy. Trying to keep on top of all my research and whatnot. A few of those. Perfect. A few more mosques. Really? Okay. Coalition against us. That's new. Got him. Actually, do you know what? Town halls are actually really useless. I'm not sure. I should stop making them because they're really not worthwhile. And doesn't it, when you build a, an exchange, doesn't it demolish? Oh, you get a discount if if the previous building has already been existed. Okay, that's fine. I, I thought that was the case. I wasn't 100% certain, though. Okay, perfect. So I was going to invade Morocco and annex them, but at this stage, I'm not sure if that's going to be a good idea because we're in a coalition situation at the moment. War games? No, there's no point. I feel like I want to exercise everyone. And I don't want to... Ooh! We have been informed that Ulm has accepted the electorate offer from Austria and they're now the elector of the Holy Roman Emperor. Interesting. Everyone loves Austria. Everyone hates me. I wonder if it's possible to simultaneously unify Islam become the Holy Roman Emperor, and become the Chinese Emperor all at once. The Holy Roman... The Holy Roman Chinese Islamic Empire. What do you think, guys? Do you think I should go for it? I'm joking. I don't think I can do it. I'm not that good at this game. We've maxed out our military points again. Boom. We have literally more military points than what we know what to do with. What are we behind on? We're not behind on anything. I didn't realize this guy was here. He might have moved there because of rebels. Oh, he has actually. I know why he's moved there. He, he was suppressing the rebels in that zone. Okay, so we're entering, uh, I think we're slightly, we, I guess I class this as the mid-late game. <laughs> I'm making these terms up, I, I don't think this is the mid-late game. Um, it becomes more late, about 1750-ish, doesn't it? Because that's when the, that's the final age of revolution fires influenza again. <gasps> I'll go for that one. Let's have a little cheeky look to see if there are any more. No, okay. Do server extension, we're working on it. Uh, ground export licenses. We can't lose legitimacy at this point. Let's have a look at Unify Islam. Unify Islam. So Constantinople, Theta. So just three more states I need now. So we need to build a network on the Ottomans. Mm, the Moroccans are good. Aragon is good. The Muslim invasion has begun again. The Muslim reinvasion of Europe. So I was, I was thinking about naming this episode. I'm not sure if I actually will. So this is kind of, I'm already recording it right now. So it doesn't make sense if I talk in kind of the future sense. But I was thinking about naming this episode, Muslims Invade Europe. What's the chance of that getting demonetized? <laughs> Dave, I would think that's a guarantee. <laughs> I am... Well, I keep saying I'm surprised why there's not a coalition, but let's be fair, if they do start a coalition, they're going to have to beat up Poland and Lithuania, which are just an attrition nightmare due to how big they are and fat they are in the East, and then they've got to deal with me as well. I think Lithuania gets a bonus towards attrition to enemies, don't they? I think so. It's one of their ideas, which kind of makes sense because they've got like a lot of like, uh, like steppes as well as like Eastern territories as well. They're at war with the... 
Lithuanian Scandinavians. Hmm. You know, that's something I don't look at very often. You know, the, uh, the hired mercs you can get from other countries. And right now, we are so filthy rich, so you know, it'd be really smart to actually hire them, wouldn't it? You know what? I really should do that. I don't know why I don't. How is the... 118%, so we are so in control of our total amount of religious power. Playing the courts, legalism, yep. So if we do this now, we get zero manpower. <laughs> and if we do this, we get zero ducats. And if we do this one, uh, we get minus five percent. So these become useless now because we're not we've not we've not accepted a culture of a leader that is our own. The Swazi people are all these ones, aren't they? Are they? No, Swazi are all these. Uh, okay. Not that it really matters, but there you go. Could get pushed towards the Ottomans too, so I'm gonna build a network on you too. Insult the Russians. Insulted. Uh, first rank, great power, embargo, blah, 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 blah. Still Ottomans, interestingly enough. So I have to wait. Leaves your court, or oh, oh, no, you're gonna have to leave my court, dude. Oh, actually, that wasn't a good idea because that guy was expensive. Yeah, in loyalty, lose trade modifier. Pfft, no, uh, extra trade, b -b 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 occasion. Yeah, I'll go for you. I heard you have a lot of money. Why do you want to spend it? Remove Tunis from the map. You're currently at war with Aragon. Okay. If we go to war with Morocco, we're going to bring the coalition with us. Let's have a look at the coalition map mode. This is a coalition that's going to take a very, very long time to burn out. A really long time. Max absolutism. Another leader's dropped dead. Declining power of the aristocrats. Could do some more conversions, couldn't I? Oh, there goes all my diplo points. I burnt them all on those top three. I should have sorted these. Why didn't I sort them? Yeah, there's a few on the bottom too. Berber. Those are going to take years upon years to convert, aren't they? Yeah, this is a 22 development. This is going to take a very long time to convert. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Uh, Norway has said that they want, they want Canada. Okay. Very nice. All of Northern Castile has been occupied by nobles. We have a noble republic. Uh, Medina, okay. Remove Tunis from the map. I think I probably will do that. Oh, left the coalition, left the coalition. Okay, that's awesome. The coalition is slowly dismantling. It's Kind of like a snowball effect, I imagine. Opposite of a snowball. Getting smaller effect. Yeah. The smaller effect. That's the that's an expert term. No. Yeah, this would be really useful if they actually showed. Yeah, this would be really useful if it showed. Uh, what's the words? If it was a different religion. Because this is relevant to what I'm doing. I wonder if you could build a mosque in a Christian country. You know, like, because you could build through subjects. I wonder if you could do that. Uh, da, 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 24. Oh, we're close. 
All right, we're maxed on the drill now. Poor uniforms. Poor uniforms. You know, one thing you could do is you could max out your drill and then go to war with someone. And what you could do is wait for them to burn attrition on their army until their drill reduces based on attrition. And then when you have your army sitting there doing nothing and not burning its drill, you could attack it and you'd have a drill advantage, wouldn't you? That would give you an, uh, an uh, advantage. Following your faithful eyes coming against the Timurids. Oh, six shock, nice. Um. Oh, I see what they're doing. Oh no! You can't take this, dude. You can't take it because I need it. I think I'm gonna be a little bit seldom. Oh Christ! I can't do that. I was about. <laughs> I was thinking about. I was thinking about giving them war subsidies to Timurids so they beat them up. You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm actually going to participate. I'm just going to sit on the sidelines. Oh Christ, you're going to sit here and siege me down, aren't you? Um, do, 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 do. We're at max stability. Got him. Oh look, Austria is now at war with the uh, Ottomans as well, that's good. Because that means we're going to possibly have to take Constantinople off somebody else, which is a really big pain. Our tradition must be maxed. 90, oh no, 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 no. I've never, I've never actually seen a hundred a tr um, tradition. Tunis, New Morocco. Ah, oh, yeah, we can do this. E take Fez. 100% aggressive expansion or 75%. We might as well go for the 75%. I want to siege this down quickly. We'll wait for the first tick, and then shoot. Alright, are we at war with anyone else they need to be aware of? No, they can just siege that. Yeah, that's right, you can't even siege that! <laughs> I'm really happy about that, actually. That makes me feel pretty good. Um... Oh, I can't send war subsidies for someone I'm at war with. That's stupid. Why was I even thinking that? That was a stupid idea. Taking Fez, go here. Man, wiped. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. So they're going to try and siege this down. That's right. You stack lots of troop there and do nothing. And that one's locked out. So the only problem is, is this border. I just need to keep a close eye on. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Go here. Split. Go here. Split. Go here. Split. Go here. Split. Go here. And go here. Man, the influenza event is really annoying. They lost some of this before, now they've got it back. I'm not sure if I want to take all of this. Oh, what's this? I forgot about that one tile there. Okay, who else we're at war with? So we're at war with, with Boko Haram. <laughs> and also Morocco that owns some colonies. Okay, well, colonize in Morocco. Okay. I like the fact they're trying to take Dafur. I'm not having any luck. <laughs> Fortress boy. Yeah boy. What else are we at war with? Okay, this is not the same war that we fought before, is it? This is a lot weaker than it once was. 
Yeah, this is a, a significantly weaker army than it once was. Before, we had to deal with, like, lots of pests around here, didn't we? If you ask Tunisia... Uh, actually, if you ask Tunisia, it's okay, actually. Nah, it's okay. Counting house! We've got it, boys. Oh, some more states. Oh, this is going to be fun to watch, guys. <laughs> Sicily. This is going to be defensive. Uh, Algiers. Algiers. It's here, isn't it? No, it's here. Algiers. Next one is lower. And da 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 da. That's upper! Oh, I took them both, whatever. Uh, Valencia. Alright, we got them all. Uh, Amers and Ulma want land. Okay, got them. We've got everything. That's a desert. Well, the, the only things they don't have. Or we don't have is just the colonies. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's good. Make a generous donation. A hundred admin. Thank you. We're going to need more admin now as well. This is land that we've occupied. Oh, our vassals have done it, haven't they? We've got two vassals, haven't we? Afghanistan and Basra. <clears throat> I'm going to stay here for the time being. Yeah, I'm going to stay here for the time being. Alright, yeah, I think we're just going to sit on our hands for the time being. Because uh, I don't want to push any further into Africa. And we have full control of Morocco, so they will declare defeat anytime soon now. They are pretty much busted. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us, a uh, episode, drop us an episode. Drop us a comment below. Apart from that, have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.